Hi, I'm Magna. And I'm Kendall. Welcome to JDTV News. Today on the show, we will tell you about Spirit Lodge Singers and Yarkis' new principal. Also, we have a wrap-up of Tuesday's school board meeting. All that and more on JDTV News. <laughs> Welcome back to our first show since spring break. I hope you all are prepared for the high school qualifying exams and the SBAs next week. We will give you more details about those later in the calendar. First is some sad news. JDHS is mourning the loss of senior Jessica Billy in a fa from a fatal car accident collision on Wednesday. Jessica was three occupants, one of three occupants in the car, which was struck by a semi truck during a left turn at the intersection of Yandukin Drive and Old Dairy Road. According to Juno Police Department release, the investigation continues. The counseling office is always available for any student looking for a quiet place or someone to talk to. The school board meeting in a, in a meeting this Tuesday approved the budget for next school year and formally accepted the superintendent Glenn Glenn Gelbrich's resignation, effective June 30th. We go to Calvin with more. Thanks, Megna. The school board met Tuesday and made decisions regarding the fiscal budget for the 2014-15 school year. The school calendar for that year and whether or not to accept the resignation of Glenn Gelbrich, the superintendent. The budget has 20 teacher positions being cut as money is allocated for a $500,000 worth of curricula for the elementary reading program. Several members of the public and JDHS's own student representative, Ruby Steedle, spoke out against this decision. When I think about all the schools I've gone through in the Juno School District, I don't think about the textbook we've had. I think about the teachers I've had. And I understand that a curriculum will help our students. There's no way to argue that having a curriculum that's uniform across all the school district, all the schools in our district, won't make a difference. It won't help students achieve more. But I don't think that we should make that choice at the cost of teachers. The superintendent had submitted a letter of resignation previously, and the school board decided whether or not to accept it. In discussion, the board lamented the public opposition Galbraith had faced, saying that he had inherited a school district that was losing funding and that he had done the best that he could. All but one board member voted to accept Galbraith's resignation, which will be effective this summer. Thanks, Calvin. The school board also approved the school calendar for the 2014-2015 school year at the Tuesday meeting. School starts on a Wednesday the 20th of August and ends on a Thursday the 20th of, 28th of May with 249 total s s days. Now for something else. Students often talk about what makes a good teacher. Some students explain that a good teacher is understanding, dedicated, caring, and reasonable. But what makes a good student? A member from our crew asked a few teachers their opinion. I think that they are expected to put in to show determination to succeed. And having interest and desire to learn and to, to achieve a diploma is an expectation. Uh, I think that being on time and present both mentally and physically for your classes is an expectation. Being respectful to peers and to staff members is an expectation. And we want them to um, be working hard. These teachers stated that they do care about their students and have a dream of seeing each one succeed. Another teacher told us about their, her hopes to see her students succeed, but first she told us about challenges she had adapting to her new position. Although most of our viewers do not go to Yakus, every one of us has experienced change in some way. Kristen Groh is a new principal this year at Yakus Takahiti. She has previously, previously taught English, acting, and history at Thunder Mountain and Juno Douglas High School. Ms. Groh told us that one of her fears about transitioning to the principal position was that she would lose time interacting with her students. Um, I love teaching. I have been doing it for 15 years and it's just, it's a fun part of my day. And I was afraid when becoming a principal that I wouldn't get to do that. And I don't get to teach a regular class, but I do see kids all the time. Um, I help 
with advisory programs. I help with orientation at the beginning of each quarter. And so I still get to see kids, and that's really great. Performance is definitely important in terms of being a principal because you're kind of on, and you're the public you're one of the public faces of the school and you're an advocate for the school. So things like public speaking um, help in that regard. And of course, English is important, those written communication skills, um, being able to communicate to parents and community about the programs that we're doing here at Yokosuka Dakihiti is important. While talking to her, Ms. Gro also told us that one of her hopes as a new principal is to see more interaction from her students in different activities. Thanks for sharing with us sharing that with us, Ms. Garo. Speaking of different activities, are you interested in culture but just don't know how to get involved? Spirit Lodge Singers is a local drumming group that people with any nationality can, to, can come to be a part of. The group is open to hear any native song from any region. Every Wednesday at 6 p.m., the church clinic near the hospital, Spirit Lodge come together to eat and listen to Justin McDonald teach rhythm through the drum, songs, and dancing. There's lots of different things to learn by going to the group. Another popular activity to get involved in is sports. Let's go to Kyle to see how our teams are doing. Thanks, Megna. You may remember when we covered Region 5 basketball recently. Over spring break, all the winners went to Anchorage for the state competition. The only Juno team to go is the Thunder Mountain boys team, who got knocked out of the competition early. The other big event over spring break was the gold medal tournament, which was hosted in Juneau. Gold medal is a large basketball competition between all small villages in southeast Alaska. The winning teams were Yakutat, Flukwan, Heidelberg, and Angoon. Finally, today the boys soccer team goes to Sitka. That's pretty much it, so back to you, Magna. Thanks. Now we have the calendar for the next few days. Our boys soccer team goes to Sitka today. Also tonight at 7 p.m. in the main gym is Showtime. Showtime is a dance show with performances from programs all over town. Again tomorrow JD at JDHS there is Showtime again at 7 p.m. On Tuesday morning the reading portion of the high school qualifying exams and SBA start at 9.15 and go into lunch. After lunch we have periods 1 and 2. On when on Wednesday morning, the writing portion of the high school qualifying exams and SBA start at 9.15 and go until lunch. After lunch, we have periods 3 and 4. On Thursday morning, the math portion of the high school qualifying exams and SBA start at 9.15 and go until lunch. After lunch, we have periods 5 and 6. On Friday morning, sophomores take the science exam from 9.15 until lunch. Freshmen, juniors, senior, and seniors are on a regular Friday schedule with which is periods one through six. For all the testing sessions, leave all electronics devices in your locker and don't forget to bring your, school, your student ID to school. The weekends are getting a little bit warmer. Let's go to Shan this weekend for the weekend's forecast. How does it look, Shan? Thank you, Kendall. <clears throat> for a couple days last week, it was sunny and it continued through Monday. Thankfully, the sun has loved us and decided to come back. Today will be sunny with highs of 40 and lows of 22 to 28. And looking on to Saturday, the highs will be 42 and lows of 22 to 29, which is going to be mostly cloudy. And moving forward to Sunday, it will be again mostly cloudy with highs around 41 and lows of 26 to 32. This weather should continue until Tuesday. Now looking at Eagle Crest behind me, down at the base you can see there is a total of 45 inches of snow and at the top there is a total of 153 inches of snow. Thank you for tuning in with the weather. Back to you at the desk, Kindle. Thanks, Sharon. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Check us out on our website at jdhsvideo.org to see past shows. Also, check us out on Twitter at JDHS Video. Be sure to tune in to next week's show and have a great day.